Hey you guys, I'm Ravana Yovana, and we are on the 10 day vegan challenge. Yay! If you are participating in the challenge, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to participate, you can do so by subscribing to my website, ravana.com, and I will leave all the information of the challenge in the description of this video. I get comments and questions from you guys that you guys want to start a healthier lifestyle or you want to start a vegan lifestyle and you don't know where to begin. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips that you can do daily or at least one per day so that you can be on your way to change your lifestyle. Before I start with the 10 tips, I just want to say that you take it one day at a time and you tell yourself just for today. Just for today, I'm going to do this. Sometimes when we futurize ourselves too much, we can get overwhelmed, or at least that happens to me. I get overwhelmed and then I'm like, oh, and then I freeze and I can't do anything. But when I take it one day at a time and live in the present moment, I am actually more efficient and can do more. So tip number one is have a desire. If you have a desire to change your lifestyle, you have a desire to have a vegan lifestyle, that is amazing. That's fabulous because it's such a personal decision and it's something that we can't control. It's something that is just born within us. So if you have that, you're on your way. And if you don't have that desire, it's okay. You can do one of the following tips that I'm going to tell you. And that desire will slowly be born inside of you. Number two is start every morning with one liter of water as soon as you wake up. This is super important because most people are dehydrated. They don't drink enough water and that makes you feel lethargic, not have energy, gain weight and eat unhealthy foods. Have a liter of water beside your bed and drink it. Okay. Tip number three is eat more fruits and vegetables. Seriously, you guys, how do you do that? having them in your house, as you can see right here. Drink juices, smoothies, salads, anything that you want, but just include more fruits and vegetables and your body's slowly going to ask you for more fruits and vegetables until you get to a point where 80% of your foods are coming from fruits, vegetables, legumes, grains, everything that the earth gave us. And 20% is maybe processed food, um, animal protein. If you're eating animal protein or whatever it is that you want to eat, but keep really the balance 80, 20, that's going to be the best because these good foods are alkaline foods and, and the other foods are acid foods. So we want to have an alkaline environment inside our body because when we have an acid environment inside our body, that's when disease can come. That's when we don't feel good. That's when we gain weight. That's when our skin is dry, when we get pimples. And it just shows to tell that you really are what you eat because what you're putting inside your body is going to show on the outside and not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally as well. Number four is eliminate as much as you can artificial chemicals, GMO products, dairy, animal protein, alcohol, cigarettes. And how do you do this? By eating more raw fruits and vegetables. We need the substitution. We can't just eliminate everything. So you just simply substitute it. Number five is move, move, move your lymphatic system. Our body is eliminating toxins all the time, not just when we go to the bathroom, but through our sweat. Sometimes we get mucus. Moving our body is not only going to heal our physical body, but our emotional state as well, because it releases endorphins. We feel better and you can really start with anything that you want. I recommend that you start with walking and try to walk at least one hour a day. Tip number six is go to bed early and sleep seven to nine hours every single day. I know this is hard and I struggle with it sometimes too, but I always keep it in mind and know that, okay, I'm going to try to sleep early every single day and sleep seven to nine hours a day because it affects everything. I mean, when I don't sleep well, I'm like in a really bad mood. Number seven is take five minutes to focus on your breathing, to relax, to close your eyes and just breathe in and breathe out. Get out of your phone, forget about your problems of what you have to do and just simply relax. Believe me, you'll feel like a different person after that. Number eight is take in mind that it's not just your physical state. Everything is connected. Mind, body and spirit, your emotional state, your mental state, and your spiritual state is going to be very important. 
Also, what kind of people are you surrounding yourself with? What kind of influences are you getting? Just as we are cleaning house physically, it's important to try and clean everything else because you can eat super, super healthy, but if you're not good emotionally, mentally, spiritually, or socially, it's gonna affect you. Number nine is be constant. Just as when we want something in our life and we do it every single day to try to achieve that goal, that's the same with health. When we're really constant with it, it's slowly gonna become part of your life. That's what happened to me. And it's going to transform you. You'll never go back. You'll be a totally different person. And finally, number 10 is have patience, really, because it takes time. Just as you were years and years eating bad junk food, now your body's gonna take time to really heal. It's not gonna be one of those quick fixes that in a week you're gonna lose all of this weight and it's never gonna go back. No, no, no. It's really a lifestyle change. So have patience with yourself. Know that it's gonna take time, but that at the end, it's gonna be so, so much worth it. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy every single day, enjoy every single moment, enjoy every single fruit and veggie meal, and just really have fun. If you do at least one of these tips every single day, you are on the right track. I wrote all of these tips down on my blog at ravana.com, and I'll leave the link in the description of this video so you can maybe print them out and just have them as a reminder of things that you can do every single day to change your lifestyle. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe here if you haven't subscribed and like it. I'll leave you guys all of my social media. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video of the 10 day vegan challenge. Yay! Sending lots of love, light, and blessings. Bye.